Welcome back to Wilson's Wild Ride, where we do everything RV and travel. If this is something that interests you, then please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. Today we're going to talk about short-term freezing conditions and things that you need to know and do. Coming up. Size of our tires. All right, now that we've gone over. This place is great. we're in Louisiana where it never freezes and here recently we had some freezing weather here about five days of freezing weather here um, it was a lot worse in, in Texas Texas was really bad um, but we don't have one of those heated hoses so there are other options for for if you don't have a heated hose and so what we did is we filled up our freshwater tank and then we unhooked our hoses that way they wouldn't freeze and after we unhooked them we made sure to pick them up high and and, and let all the water out so there's nothing left in them to freeze okay so these are our water connections this is we have this side hooked to our um this is our water going in this is for the black tank so whenever it freezes you want to make sure that you disconnect after after filling your fresh water tank you want to make sure that you disconnect both of these and then you can also disconnect them from the trailer. You can, you know, run all the water out of them, make sure that they don't freeze. And, and then on your tank, you want to make sure that you're, you're sparingly with your water um, because you may, it may be freezing conditions for more than one day and you don't want to run out of water. Pretty much it from right here. Now over here, as you can see, it's been raining and everything's so wet, but We, I have a quick disconnect in here. It just makes the life easier when we hook up and disconnect. And, and you know, so I got my disconnect here, but um, I just turn that over to tank, um, fresh water tank fill, and, um, and and let that fill that tank all the way completely up before we're not doing that now. So I'm putting it back on city water. But make sure that your fresh water tank is completely full. Um, and be sparingly on it, like like just like you pretend like you're boondocking and um, that way your water lasts longer and and then during it, you keep an eye on it during the day and when you see your level start to drop and, and you know it is starting to drop keep an eye on the weather and then what you can do is when it's not freezing as long as as long as the pedestal over there hasn't th that water hasn't frozen then you can take your hose back out hook back up just like this and then and refill during the heat of the day and, and then when you're done, disconnect again, make sure all your water is drained out and, you know, and then keep an eye on your, your levels of, you know, your gray tanks and stuff like that. But if you have those tanks open, then all that should be draining out anyways. So that's what we do as far as the water. Now, um, if you can get a little ceramic heater inside these compartments, a lot of them have electrical outlets. So if you put yourself a little ceramic heater in here, and plug it in and shut this that will keep this compartment area warm which is right next to your freshwater tank and and you can also your freshwater pump and all that stuff right there to keep everything nice and warm inside there you're going to want to run your 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 your, your, your furnace <laughs> you're going to want to run your furnace to keep everything underneath underneath the trailer warm um, it, it, inside there you have duct work that runs through there and, and feeds inside and along that duct work it has little little um, little spouts that, that go down on on different connections water connections and and on the inside and and will help keep that warm so you're going to want to make sure that you run your furnace when you get below below freezing temperatures now when the freeze is over with everything's back and the weather is looking better and what you're going to want to do is make sure that your hoses are, are good to go and hook everything back up just like you had them to begin with make sure that you put it back on city water and and, and then that's, that should take care of that but and also but keep an eye on the weather because if it happens again you'll know what to do now I want to reiterate this is not for long-term 
freezing conditions. This is short-term freezing conditions. Um, Long-term freezing conditions, you may want to consider purchasing a heated water hose. That, that's what you're going to need for that and maybe some siding and all the rest of it. But this is, that's, all, that's, a, that's, a, that's another video. This, this is just for short-term um, freezing conditions. Okay, now everything is done outside. Fresh water tank is filled. Lines are disconnected and drained and put away. You're gonna come inside, you're gonna turn on your water pump. That way when you turn on the spigots, you get water. Now, if you lose power, you can always turn your gas on and you'll and you'll have hot water. And and that's and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to enjoy the ride.